Why hello! In this video we're talking about inverters and there are two main types of inverters. One is called the voltage source inverter, VSI for short, and one is the current source inverter. Uh, the basic concept is that the sources fundamentally act differently. One acts like a voltage source. So say you had some capacitors or some batteries or some voltage type component that is acting like your source, then we would model our source as a voltage source. And then our inverter would be a lot of different switches and they would transform the voltage into a positive or negative or sometimes zero, depending on the type of inverter, over the load. So it's going to put those different voltages over the load and the load is going to be AC because it's going from a DC to AC. And then the current in the load will be determined by the actual impedance of the load. So that's the basic idea there. Within the converter, there's a bunch of different topologies that you could use, but we're just saying when the source is a voltage source, then we can use a voltage source inverter to transform the DC to AC. The other side is the current source inverter and this is where the input is more like a current source probably has some sort of inductive characteristics so its current is going to be very consistent so we model that as a current source then the inverter itself also has a bunch of different switches in various topologies but the idea is that it can take that source and put it into the load in a positive direction or the negative direction, or sometimes zero if the current is going to be circulating through the inverter during one of the modes, then it wouldn't see any of the current on the output. So the current source inverter kind of chops up the source into different positive negative modes at, over the load, and then the voltage characteristics of the load are determined by the impedance here, we're just using a Z. Both of these types of inverters are commonly used voltage source inverter is a little more common in various applications like home appliances, things like that. But the current source inverter is also used in various applications, especially larger grid connected systems as well. Generally in courses or when someone just says an inverter, they usually mean a voltage source inverter. And we tend to study that more in coursework probably because voltages are just a little bit easier for most people to understand. The voltage source inverter is usually what we will focus on. So quick summary, voltage source inverter, the source is assumed to be more like a voltage source. So we use that. The inverter then puts positive and negative voltages over the load and the current is determined by the characteristics of the load. The current source inverter assumes that your source is more like a current source. And so the current source inverter is a series of switches that will then take that current and transform it over positive and negative directions in the load. And then the voltage is determined by the impedance of the load itself. So these are the two types of inverters. And there's lots of different topologies, which we'll start to get into just a few of those in future videos.